Hello viewer, welcome to this session on Tableau. And today I want to show you how to create a BAM chart in Tableau. And basically a BAM chart is the chart that is used to show the rank uh, of values of our time dimension or other dimensions. And in this case, I'm going to be using a uh, Superstore, sample Superstore dataset, which is also available under this video. And therefore you can download it and uh, so you can follow along this video. And in this case, I will be showing, uh, or rather I will be uh, visualizing uh, the sales for different product subcategories uh, uh, in different months of the year. So I want to rank the sales so I can, uh, uh, in a very better way, uh, uh, portray uh, how sales for different sub product uh, categories uh, are ranking over there, over the different months of the year. And uh, to do that, first of all, I need to create a calculated field, and this calculated field uh, basically uh, is the one I'm going to rank the sales uh, uh, over there, the, the subcategories. And to create a calculated field, what I need to do is uh, right click anywhere on the dimensions field or measure field and uh, go to calculated field. And I'm going to rename it um, rank of cells. And uh, the details of this uh, calculation will be uh, rank. I'm going to use rank unique. And basically what rank unique does is uh, in cases whereby you have several uh, um, values which are the same, right? Uh, or a value which is appearing uh, in, in a multiple number of times. Uh, in this case, what Tableau does is every value is ranked. Uh, they are not given the same number. The numbers, the ranks, the ranks are going to be different. <coughs> and uh, you can read more details about the, the ranks in Tableau. Uh, in the Tableau, either in the one of the Tableau blogs. And therefore, I'm going to use rank unique, and in this case, it's sum of the cells. And that's all, that's the, the calculation. Let me just expand it a little bit uh, so you can be able to see it. So this is the calculation I'm using. And uh, I'm going to 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 tell Tableau how, how, how uh, it will compute this uh, calculation. So under default table calculation, I'll say compute this uh, using subcategory uh, because that is the, the dimension we're going to use. <coughs> okay. And then now I'm going to bring my months because the ranking is over months. And to bring my months, uh, which is under order dates, I drank order date to, to my columns and change uh, my view to month. And then next I'm going to drag uh, my dimension subcategory to detail and then drag my rank of cells to the row to the rows and uh, it means, means some field is missing here let me just hide it and then um, what I'm going to do next is uh, I need to duplicate my view uh, basically because I need I need a place whereby I can uh, I can place my labels huh? because essentially a BAM chart uh, shows a line and circles plotted together and then we try to label uh, the chart on the circles. And to duplicate my view, I'm going to hold control and drag this rank of cells next to itself. And basically that's a way of duplicating, uh, sorry. And there it is so I've duplicated my view and I'm going to make it dual and synchronize the axis which is simply making the axis uh, uh, equally ensuring that they are matching and then uh, next I'm going to reverse my axis because when you look at my view uh, the products which uh, made more cells are at the bottom but I need them at the top and those are the top, I need them at the bottom. So I need to reverse my axis, and to do that, I right click on my axis, edit axis, and I'll check reverse axis. And then now you can see now uh, my view, uh, it's taking shape. And now next, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to choose the second chart, 
and I'm going to change it from a line chart to a circle because essentially this is where we want to place the, the ranks themselves and I'll try to resize it a little bit uh, how that looks good I can also resize uh, the line chart also and I need to be and that looks good so now I need to label my uh, my uh, my view and labeling will be done on the circles so which is the second chart and to label my view I drag rank of cells to the label and you can see it's only the last one which is being labeled so let us align our labels I go to labels and um, alignment I'm going to make it a middle center and you see every uh, every category has been aligned uh, which looks good but now it's very difficult to to tell which uh, subcategory is which because they are the same color and although this uh, talk or rather this video is not about the best practices but rather it's how to create it I want to go much to the color issues so let me just add color just to show you how uh, to enable rather to bring the element of uh, uh, interpreting the chart and to do that I'll select all and drag subcategory to color let me try to expand it a little bit and also try to resize my circle let me make it a little bit smaller because I don't want them to touch each other and that all looks good but it is very uh, busy I have to agree it's very busy but this uh, video is not about the communication uh, or rather they are uh, making it more clear and uh, just to mention a little bit uh, the whole idea is we need to use the same color or the uniform color in the view but we bring the aspect of uh, highlighting right uh, simply let's say if I highlight accessory by users highlighting the various subcategory they can easily see uh, how such a product was ranked as far as sales is concerned over the years, over the months. Uh, for example, accessories, you can see uh, the, it was ranked product number three as far as making sales is concerned in the month of July. And you can see that. Let's look at another product. Let's say like uh, the phones. And see the phones is a very, uh, it's, it's, it's a high making sales product and, and you, you, can, you can tell from the ranks it has been ranked uh, between 1 to 3 all along from January to December and you can also uh, highlight other products to see how the ranking has been you can also bring the element of comparison let's say tech, uh, this is uh, chairs and, and phones uh, so I've selected our phones let me hold control and select chairs and you can see how the two products are ranking uh, over, uh, over the different months uh, as far as sales is concerned and therefore uh, this is basically what a BAM chart is and uh, the whole idea of a BAM chart is to show how, how a value for this case sales uh, ranks over a time dimension or other dimension I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to meet you next time.